guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get ISO files, or ISOs, whatever, on your JTAG, but I don't have a capture card right now, so I can't actually show y'all on the JTAG, but I can show y'all what to do on the computer, and let me start off by saying this is just your files, putting it onto a USB, now the easiest the easier way would just be to, well, I'll show you later, but basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download WX360, and it's in the description. I actually had to do this because that, um, mine my USB accidentally unplugged and I had to restart, well not restart, but start where I left off, but one of them's already done so I'm going to show you, but basically what you do is whenever you open up WX360 and you click file and open and you open your ISO in it, which I've already done, you click this button right here and it says this will uh, extract all these files and and go to your USB, but mine's already saving, so I'm not going to do that right now. And then, once you do that, um, here, this is 148 items, so yes, it will take a, a while. And whenever it gets uh, stuck on default underscore mp.xex and default.xex it's not really stuck it just takes a while to actually do because those are large files um and it's start and it takes a while so but yeah and then basically what you're going to want to do from here is actually um just go under jtag and go to your usb and go to default dot I mean underscore mp dot xex which would be multiplayer actually for this is Modern Warfare 2 but and to get the ISOs the link will be in the description and you can just look around for the different ones okay now this would be how you do it with um if you want it on a disc, which I don't have a disc right now, you just go to File, Open. Oh, here, I'll just put that in there. I don't really know. Um, you're gonna click Extract and then go to Computer, and you would just go to DVD Drive. And click there, which I don't have a DVD as it just said, but I'm just gonna exit out of that. And um, the whole reason that you can't actually just drag the ISO on there is first of all, the XKX menu wouldn't just see that, and as you can see, this is formatted as a FAT32. Which, that's the only way that the Xbox can read it, would be a FAT32. And you can't just put 7, 8 gigabytes on there. You can't just drag it on, because you can't put on... One thing can't be over 4 gigabytes. Like, but, as you can see, it's not just, uh, it's not just one thing, it's a whole bunch of different things. And you just load this up on your XEX menu, and you just go to, again, you just go to default underscore mp dot xex to get, um, your, this is for Call of Duty, this is Call of Duty, but, and you just go on there to load up your multiplayer you know, like where it says split screen and all that, um, as well as you can just put your patches on there, um, and load them up and have mods.
So, yeah, but the reason that I say that it'd be easier to go with just writing to a CD would be that you can just, um, it, it would probably take the same amount of time, but it would just be there, like, for forever. But I have a couple of files that I want on there, so I'm just gonna, you know, um, do that. And, yeah, I'm just going to do it this way. So, hope this helped, guys. And go to my channel for more um, videos and stuff. And see you.